Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. We're playing Lords of the Fallen, and uh, yeah, I was a bit skeptical of this one, because I heard a lot of bad things when it first came out. I had never heard about the game at all until like a week before it came out, and then I was like, damn, that does look sick. But then people played it, and I know there was a lot of performance issues, and online, multiplayer, like just co-op and PvP were both just horrendous. I don't know if that's still the case. Honestly, I'm not that worried about it. I'm really more interested in the PvE side. I do like PvP in these games, even though I'm not like huge into it. Um, but the thing with... I miss the golden age of Souls PvP, which was like, I'm assuming, like, DS1, DS3, because I just didn't, I didn't PvP, and I, I only knew really the PvE, and I didn't want to PvP, because I was like, oh, there's probably builds, blah, 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 I just didn't really care for it, um, but my buddy was big into it, and he always says how much better, like, Dark Souls 3 PvP was compared to Elden Ring, because if you've done Elden Ring PvP, you know it's extremely broken, like, every build that people use, and every weapon art, and everything, well, actually, okay, I haven't played it since, like, the first month or two of the game, but I'm sure it's even worse now, it's probably only OP, it's probably only OP builds, and, uh, and, uh, what was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and people trolling. That's pretty much all it probably is. Um, so yeah, we're not gonna be doing many, or much PvP at all. I might, I don't know, I might, like, find a spot where I'm like, yeah, let's try some PvP. But, I don't even know what soul level or whatever people do it at. It's probably the standard soul levels everybody usually does it at. Um, Yeah. I'm interested to see what the game's like. I've heard good things, bad things, which <laughs> kind of makes sense with the mixed reviews. I think most of the people that are giving it a bad review are people who couldn't play with their friends. Because I've heard gameplay is not bad at all. There's just a few times where it's a bit annoying, but I guess I guess they've patched a lot of things. Another thing I've heard is there's a lot of samey type enemies, which I don't really care on that. Lies of P was like 90% of the same enemies, like the entire game. So, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, and I did start the game already, and there was a cool ass cinematic, and I hope they show that again. So we'll see. Do get the cool cinematic. After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown by humanity. Though fear of his terrible power endured. Was formed the hallowed sentinels. Our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return. Even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever. And in time, Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic army. Light was swallowed by shadow. And with it, hope. A new, grim champion arises. The Dark Crusader. And perhaps it will indeed come to pass that only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. Oh. 
So this is called like the Umbral, I think. It's like a rebirth mechanic that they turned into a whole... whole game mechanic. Watching it again, that was cool. Um, I have a feeling it's really loud and you guys probably can't hear me. I'm doing shaders? That was kind of fast. Uh, um, let me see. Let me turn it down a little bit. The, yeah, I still need that punch, you know, I still got you guys got to hear, you got to get the punch. Dusty controller? Actually trusty and actually dusty? Oh shit. Dropped it. Alright. Hopefully... Hopefully the settings and everything will be fine. If I wasn't recording, I would have capped it at 144 FPS, but I capped it at 90 since we're recording. That's what most of the games that I've been playing, I'll cap it to when I'm recording. Even though you guys only see it in 60, no matter what. Alright, I feel like it still looks better. Ages past, distorting self-delusion into faith. You obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine, are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. Yummy. Or she must feed. I don't think you heard me say feed. Every time I tap out, it goes quiet. It's I need to change that. Boris, forgive me. Oh. I'd steal this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. I thought that was like my character, and I was like, wait. Usually, your character doesn't talk in a soul's like. This guy's fucking dead already. Oh. Damn, that guy looks tight, bro. See if it has the performance issues people have been talking about. I did the auto detect settings. Definitely have to turn music down. Holy shit. Alright, so we've got the Hollowed Knight, which I'm sure is standard. 
Loyalty to the cleric and hold sentinels. Oh, it's just male, female. Figured. Just, you know, today's standards, you gotta call it body type A and B. <laughs> Should be a, a for guys and B for girls, B for boobies. Ooh, voice crack. Oh, that's a cool little animation. You, you the Ranger Warwolf. Oh, I should be looking at the stats, bro. What am I doing? It's a fucking Souls game. Strength. Chill. I'm assuming strength. Dex. Is that Dex or is that like your stamina? Because I would think endurance would be like stamina, vitality, health. These are magic? Magic stuff? I would guess. Is there anything that tells me? You know, I know it's like... It's just part of the souls like to figure that shit out, but... I wish they would at least kind of tell you. Do I care about how I look, actually? Strength. This one's like super balanced. Yeah, all-rounder. Season, one said foot soldier in time of mud and blood, small man. Class for those who favor dexterity and light defense over strength and bulkier armor. That's usually me. It's usually my style. Usually all, almost exclusively go dex. Even though when I've done strength builds, I like strength better. Accessible class ideal for those who prefer versatility over a more focused approach. Every time that comes, it's so loud. Wait, what? See, when I look at this, like... Doesn't that one just have less points than this one? A challenging class to master, but also a lethally... Heroes has no downfall and subsequent banishment. Nomadic cutthroat killing. It says advanced class. Why? What makes you advanced? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Do I have motion blur on? I think I do. This is another advanced class, a Preacher, Radiance. A Pyric Cultist, that looks fucking sick, what? I'm not a magic user in these games, ever. Must never use magic. I did one run through of Elden Ring using magic, and you'll know how easy that was. But I have heard the magic in this game is pretty, pretty balanced for the most part. There's a few that are broken, but most is balanced. Oh, this is your. This is your no specialist. You start with fists. <laughs> Man, I'm leaning towards this. This just looks cool. Half of the time I usually pick stats slash looks. And if this is like gonna be like the type of armor I'm gonna be wearing. 
I think it's either this or I don't give a fuck about this whole advanced class. I don't know what I don't know what makes a class more advanced. Cause it's it's a high dex build, which is generally what I do. Does this one go towards? I might regret this. Because I, I don't want to be a magic user, but this looks so tight. This looks so cool. What the fuck? Fuck it. Oh shit. I usually don't edit my faces. I might just use the default. Where do I hit ran? Ah, the default looks good though. Yep, see, when you do random, you get. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, this might be the move. That might be the move. Why, why is it always the most neon of colors though? It couldn't just give them regular, you know? Just like, this is just brown, black, and normal blonde not exist. That looked like the, um, Green Goblin actor. If I'm going funky, I want that first one. Oh my god. Okay, this, but without the crazy colors, I know I could change it, but <laughs> these are funny to look at. Oh shit, this whole episode's gonna be just me fucking doing this. Yo, I'm just gonna turn the music down manually in the, on uh, OBS. You guys, you probably can't even hear me or think. Alright, let me go back. Maybe this resets it. You're not even going to see my face 99.9% .9 of the game. That's usually how it goes. No, I've ruined it. Um, can I... Oh my god, wait, there's actually crazy... There's a crazy amount of uh, customization in this. I, want a, I need a good one, a good... Oh, that one's pretty good. The beard's fucked up. I can lock... Ah. Uh. So I like the way this guy's face looks. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, it's Mr. K! <laughs> muscular? How can he be muscular looking like that? I don't really care for tattoos. I might regret this. Can I... Do I come up with a cool name, or do I just... Do I just wing it? Hmm... This is a tough decision. 
But I think I'm gonna just go wing. I can't think of any cool sorcerer names. I wanna be like Gandalf or fucking. I'm not good at making up stuff. Alright, we good? I can't even read what these like starting items are. Like I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. Alright, fuck it. Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. This is so loud. I'm so glad I kept it turned down. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. Who are you? Twenty minutes in, and I'm finally giving you guys gameplay. Look at me. Oh dear. Look at the fucking sensitivity on this. What the fuck? Alright, let's change some of these like 80 on the no, no no i like to change it like through this 60 50, 85 i like this because it's immersive sometimes it can scare the fuck out of you Oh yeah, the whole reason I went to this. Oh yeah, I turned off online. I figured, I saw how bad the shit was. I was like, nah, I don't even want to bother with it. Camera speed? I want... Yes. I think what I want. Too fast. A little too fast. Jesus. I mean, it's too slow. What the fuck was that at? Is seven, please. Go oh, pretty fast. Normally, that's it's really slow in uh, these games. And you know what else? I'm also used to playing most of my. <laughs> I think I might have said this in Eyes of P as well. 
I used to play all my games on console on 30 FPS. Where this, you couldn't see. Alright. Alright, well, that was a heal. <laughs> Fuck! Assuming right bumpers, standard. I mean, it's gonna tell me the buttons, isn't it? Yes! Yes! Wow, the graphics are beautiful. It's gonna look horrendous to you guys. I mean, shit, for a double A team? Damn, this still feels quick, though. Nice, that's what I like to see about three hits for dookie enemies. Oh, I, I didn't want to do that yet, but whatever. I haven't played on controller in a lot in a while. What do you think? Ooh, I got a back step. Nice. Um. Yeah, you can see into the umbral, which is like the undead world. God, when I flick, it's so fast. That's what I'm not used to. it not hold B to sprint? Oh my god, it's click left stick to sprint? What the fuck? I kind of like that, but weird. Okay, your standard lock on. Let's see how much this does. Okay. That's why I don't like to do these heavy attacks, because you whip. Oh, no, okay. Okay, now I heal. <laughs> I just want to see this attack, dude. Oh, so it does twice as much damage? That's it? Not worth. Oh, I died. Yo, get that off my screen, though. <laughs> I'll moving forward, press left stick. That's... Interesting. I just want to look even to see how this all looks. Like, they literally designed essentially like two maps. Granted, one one's kind of the foundation for the other. But still. Innervated Vigor Skull. Innervi innervated? Innervated? Did I say that right? Okay, we're gonna check everything when we pick it up like Liza P. Oh yeah, what is this? Get that off my fucking screen! Stop! I gotta get into a spot where there's no tutorial. Uh, that's definitely... Bad thing number one, but that, I mean, that's whatever. Who gives a fuck about something like that? Um... Source of, oh, these are mana stones. Certain parts of the world are richer in mana stone, while others some are these. Hieta's healing blood. Increase your radiance to gain further insight. This heals my mana, and this is what I picked up. It Skull almost empty of vigor grants 200. Okay, I'm assuming vigor is souls. I'm not gonna call it vigor and I'm gonna call it souls. I wonder, like, was that there in the umbral? I should have looked. Or, like,. Kidding me, dude. I whiffed. Oh, am I supposed to whiff?
What's the up key do? Switches me to this, but what the fuck does this do? Oh shit! That's how I cast magic. Go up, down. Left, right. And then RB to shoot it. This looks like a like where you fight your first little mini boss tutorial boss. Oh, this is where I. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Please don't whiff the jump. Locked on with right stick. Use B to dash quickly around the enemy. By double tapping B, you can roll out of danger. Was not I? Not the double tap. Why would you? I just breaking that box. Oh, that's. Why did I press X? Oh, because I was playing that one game. Oh, shit. That was as much as my, uh, sword. Thing. Albert. Oh, can I moonwalk? Oh, this game's teed if I can moonwalk. No, how did I do that? I was just moonwalking. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, okay. A little, a little bit of a stutter there. Rowing rock. Can we backstab? Press up to select range combat mode. Press left trigger to use the equipped long range weapon or sorcery catalyst. All ranged attack consume either ammunition or mana. Different ammunition types and spells have different cat costs. Oh, so the other classes had like, had like a bow. Actually, that's their range. Like, do they? I'm not even sure if that class can cast spells. Because if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Whether they could or couldn't. But still. For bows, crossbows, and throwables, keep left trigger press to stay in rain <clears throat> ranged mode. Quick access menu shows how to switch between ammunition types. Use RB for a quick shot. And right trigger to aim down sights while locked onto an enemy. Both are quick shots. Oh. N doesn't apply to me. For catalyst, keep left trigger press to stay in ranged mode. Shows you which button to press in order to cast each spell. Assign spells to each button through the equipment menu. I already did this. I don't have a... Yeah, so right trigger does nothing with that. Okay. Ooh. My lantern's going wonky. Can I shoot that down? Is that really what they wanted me to do? Alright, I have to change this. It's so snappy. It's so freaking snappy. Is there a... No. Wooden cross. Why is it tripping out? Is it that? Yeah, that's where it's pointed, right?
I know that has to be something. This is the way to go. Why is it tripping? What's up with you? Oh wait, what the fuck? Right bumper, right trigger, Y, X? What just happened? Did I just kill myself? Merge from Umbral. Vestus Siege can only be planted on the Umbral. Oh, I do know what that is. Those are like respawn points that you can place. I have no idea what that does. Am I supposed to, like, go into the, um... <laughs> Holy fuck, I look sick. Sounds sick in here. I just wish I knew what was happening. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I'm just doing too much too early. Me being too curious and not just letting the game take me. I still feel like there's something I'm missing though. Also indicate points of interest in Umbral. Oh shit. Okay, so I'm, I'm peered into the Umbral. Now what? Uh, and also, what's this do? Oh, so I can just walk right through. right bumper, right trigger simultaneously to perform a mult. Oh, left bumper, right trigger. Okay, wait, what does it say? Left bumper plus simultaneously. Okay, I'm at that. I have no heals either. Yeah, oh well. See what happens when I die. Left bumper, right trigger. Just does a spin, but it doesn't. I don't know. All attacks can be combined to create unique combos, including both melee and ranged attacks. Traditionally, melee stances can be switched dynamically with Y. Access a, a wider variety of attacks. Experiment with equipping different melee and range to create unique play styles. So one versus two-handed? Is that really what it means? Stances can be switched dynamically. Oh, oh wait, I'm doing a mid combo. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. I probably won't do that much, though, to be honest. Unless I find, like, a combo I like. 
The Sanguinarix is your primary healing tool and recharges automatically upon reviving. Other consumables. Okay. I kind of already figured that out because I. I'm already not. <laughs> already. Yeah, I'd love to be able to use it. I've already used it all. Again, one of these things. What is that telling me? Like, I mean, I could just go in the umbral and be fine. Just do it whenever I want. I don't know, it's all a bit confusing. But in a good way. I'll figure it out. Rift by... Oh, okay. Yeah, see? I just gotta figure it out. Rift by holding X to transition to Umbral. Where you can only exit Umbral at specific points. Yeah, so like the thing that I just saw, right? I'm assuming... Okay, well, I really wasn't expecting that. Why is it... Oh, it wants me to go and... Ray stick to lock onto them. Raise with left and soul flay. With thrash. Oh shit. I'll say the movement feels really nice. So now does this... Nah, it doesn't work like that. I was like, is it going to show me the real world? While an enemy's soul is exposed, attack it. Now I'm Malawi? Attack it to apply wither damage. Attack a withered enemy to inflict a large amount of damage. Fully withered, press right bumper to tear out their soul with your umbral lamp. I didn't do that part. Lock onto the object with right stick. Hey, hold on. I want to go back. I want to see what was behind that damn door. Shit. That's pretty fucking cool. Soul flaying enemy consumes a soul flay charge. Raise it with left trigger, then siphon enemies and blisters with right bumper to recover soul flay charges. Siphoning also provides additional withered health and gathers the vigor left by enemies in an area. Holding trigger and right. What the fuck was that? Now I have a soul play charge. Why is that back? The 
that's the way I came. What was that noise? Well, I have the charges. I don't think I need to do that. Shelter sees wither when entering umbral or performing certain actions with their umbral lamp. Withered health can be recovered by damaging. However, you will lose it instantly if you are struck. Ah. Withered health can be removed. However, you will lose it instantly. Okay, same shit. So I want to do this. Then I wanna do that, and then that. <laughs> nice. Damn, all the way back here, I was just trying to figure out mechanics, son. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. such a long wind up, you know? Now I can at least do this. Where I go at the end of the game. An umbral entity prevents your progress. I have to go into it. You are really loud. multi-hit shit. So I literally can't go through in the umbral here. Don't I have to go to it right here? That's kind of goofy. Trigger to soul flight. When an enemy is fully withered, press right bumper to tear out their soul with your umbral lamp. But I didn't completely.
didn't say anything. <laughs> this is just the fault of me. I'm assuming this is also like an advanced class because I don't think I have very much health. But you never start with much health in these games, so. I'm just not really expecting to get like one shot. Pretty I guess I have like half the health that I do when I go into the umbral. But Yeah, I'm just trying to uh <laughs> test out some mechanics, you know what I mean? Like chill on me. I'm just gonna kill shit normal. Covered vigor upon death. Oh. Missed all the ones from earlier, but I wheel. You don't have to lock in. Or lock on. <laughs> I think you do for this one, maybe. Yeah. I don't. Not really sure. Recovery frames. What did that do? Faintly quintessence. And I fat is that. Sold stat fire damage to a weapon. Tin of powder providing increased defense against withering. But that's not what I got. Pirate cultist catalyst. Severed hand. That's cool. Dedicated to the worship of Adder, Ader, however you say that fucker's name. I think that was the main, like, protagonist. Relic used to upgrade the Sanguinarix. Okay, so these are upgrade your uses or your strength of it. Rosary given you by the Exactor Dunmire of the Dark Crusaders. What the fuck? Elite military order in service to the Church of Orion Radiance, the Dark Crusaders spread the teaching of the Church and the Radiant God Aureus. A small inscription on the back of the rosary reads, Cleanse the Five Beacons. Ah, is that like the end? Like, that's the, the like objective of the game? Allows you to change the color of your armor. Those who wield a blade for themselves might occasionally be condemned as being of low character, those who do so in the name of approved creed or dogma often receive admiration instead and the screams of their victims drowned out by a chorus of righteous endorsement. Can I use it? No. Gestures. Lock on for extra accuracy, okay. These things do look pretty cool.
the fuck is happening? Give me one second. Alright, sorry about that. There's like a weird thing, and I think it was the distortion effect that's on. But now it doesn't look as crazy in this place. What am I doing? Where am I going? Had me all fucking confused. This way. Charge you up with some of these pus bubbles. How did I. I dropped down, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Enemy is soul flayed, they can be pushed in any direction with the left stick. Oh, that's a cool mechanic. Wait, that's actually really fucking cool. I'm sure I can actually do some shit with that. Wait, turn some of these settings down. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. You probably didn't, you're not gonna have to wait, but. Oh, what the hell is that eyeball on the top right? I just noticed that. I turned down some of the settings because. Yeah, it was, uh. It's kind of tweaking out. My FPS was fine, but. I was running attempts that I wasn't comfortable running for long periods of time most people are probably like oh my god stop being a pussy but fuck it I don't care or dangerous being prolonged periods the number will make you presence increasingly known to its inhabitants the longer you spend the more dangerous the beings who hunt you but that looks cool that looks super cool oh 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 what, what the fuck you all come from? What the hell is this stuck on? I think honestly one of the things I just basically... basically just needed to change the post, or not post processing, whatever thing makes, what the hell is that, why are those disappearing like that, the, like global illumination and ray tracing and all that shit was on, I kept the textures up, Oh, this is the start. This is where it was, yeah? Just like what I was just talking about, I'm gonna say fuck it and I'm just gonna turn my s graphics up because some of this doesn't look as nice and I want it to look nice. Now it looks a little prettier and I'm happy. Oh shit, there are enemies just spawning behind me, huh? Just standing here. Do I just jump down? Do I have to. Wait, do I have to fight my way back through? Oh, fuck off. 
Wait, why is that happening? Is that weird lock on? Oh shit, yeah, get me out. Eesh. Nice LB. Oh, didn't do all that much. I think I would have rather just fucking backstab them to be honest. Is there backstabbing though? That I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I'm tweaking about the temps. The temps are fine. Ooh, wow, this looks pretty. I'm glad I changed it back. is my place where previous lamp bearers fell. Once activated, these service points are revival. Oh, bonfire. Moved between. Nice. Desiccated vestige, vestige moth. Assuming rest just is the same. Respawns everything. Close my hell. Oh, there's a load bar. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. Um, we're gonna upgrade character, and then we're gonna end this episode. What do I wanna do? What's this level up? Oh, can I not even? Oh, wow. Probably because I died and lost a bunch of the uh, souls. Oh wow. So you guys hear that? <laughs> Game looks really pretty. What was it? If I wasn't recording, I could crank it up even higher. But. I got everything on high or ultra, except for the uh, global illumination lighting. Got that on medium, and the other one that's like a global, global thing. Not by holding LB, but beware blocking enemy attacks where there's your health. See, I'm not a block type of player, but I'll parry. I think I'm ever blocked in with Sekiro. <laughs> Just before the impact, to receive less with their damage and deliver high posture damage. Is reduced by any attack, each with its own, so experiment. Once posture is depleted, stagger the enemy with a charged heavy attack, a parry, or a kick. A grievous strike with right bumper. I'm assuming that's not all enemies, though. I'm assuming most you just want to attack. Oh shit! See, I do. Oh, owie! I do decent damage, but I'll do the block and shit just to pass. Die. Try to parry, but I win. Now we're in the umbral. Died in Axiom for the first time. Now I can attack to get my health back. And because I got hit, I lost it all. <laughs> I want a grievous him the I should parry these. Alright. Kinda hard to parry. 
fuck off, G. Alright, let me parry. What are you doing? You're healing yourself? Jesus, just kill me. <laughs> this is why this is why I just fight everything normal and I don't use fancy shit. Can I soul flame? I can! Oh my god! Dude, you're a sorcerer. I'm not gonna lie, I literally wasn't looking at that guy. I didn't even look at the enemy. Not even just saying that, I actually was just looking at his health bar in the bottom, seeing how much damage it was doing, but I could have just looked at him. Oh, that was funny as fuck. Oh, it's like moths. That's their thing. Okay, let's try the parry mechanic. So I just got to... Do I tap it? Or is it like a block? Okay, I don't think it's a tap. That was a parry, right? So, I don't think you want to, like... Oh, shit. Jesus, man. I don't think you want to, like, block much. Alright, I'm about to just, like, actually fight. I'm trying too many goofy mechanics that's needing to be done. Let me just go kill him. <laughs> I don't think I like the parry system. I'll need a I'll need a shield at least. So I don't really want to cheese with magic, but I am gonna definitely incorporate it. As I should. Then I do want to use this. I do wither damage to him and then boom, it's all gone. Okay, that's pretty cool. This guy already? Give me that lamp. I'm just a baby. Oh shit, what the fuck? The light keep reaper. Uh Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. You know, I should have saved this for the second episode, probably, but fuck it, this is sick. Yeah, this is where magic is going to be useful. Oh my god. I really like the camera coming in and out. Ouch. Give me that 
Am I supposed to die to this guy? I have a feeling. They can whiff. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely just supposed to die to this guy. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. That seems like... What the fuck? Am I supposed to kill this fucker? Holy shit. Well, whether I am or not, I'll see you in the next one, because I can't have this go too long. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I'm liking this so far. It's cool.